Hey YouTubers, um, this is a story about, this is my story about, uh, a Mac that wouldn't boot. You basically get to the gray line, <clears throat> and it would just shut off. Scour the internet, came up with this, um, solution, picked up an external hard drive, it's a 500 gig hard drive from Amazon, my passport for Mac. I think it was about 60 bucks. Didn't want to spend too much money because you don't know if this is going to work. So anyway, so basically plug it in, start your machine in recovery mode. If you know how to do that, I think it's Command R and hold the power button until you see the uh, Apple logo and can you let go. And then in recovery mode, it'll uh, you want to download a new operating system. It'll give you the choice and ask you where to put it. So you basically just click my passport for Mac or whatever the heck it says. And then it took like 12 hours to upload the operating system onto that. Could be because I have super crap internet or it just takes a long ass time. But anyway, so I went to bed, woke up the next morning, and then it was like, oh, do you want to transfer uh, your information, like your operating parameters and crap, I guess. So I click yes, and like another couple hours later, the thing rebooted itself and turned on. Friggin' stunned. Everything totally works. This is, uh, I got all my GarageBand stuff back, which I was worried about. And here's the, uh, the new, um, 500 gig SSD hard drive I'm gonna install on this puppy. Rather than just use the one terabyte, uh, you know, just for, uh, so I'll actually have a time machine backup this time instead of having to go through this whole route. Not saying this is going to work for you, but if you have deeper issues, you know, if, like your hard drive is like actually totally busted, then that's probably not going to work. But <clears throat> this was, I think, for just like a corrupted, uh, you know, had gone down the wrong path, I guess. But anyway, the thing totally runs awesome with this, uh, with the little external hard drive. Now, you could probably just leave it like this, but then it's like you're operating a MacBook Pro with a colostomy bag. Nobody wants that, so.